Hi, John McFell here with Matex Control Chemical in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm going to speak to you on two of our specialized products, one being Torquets and the other being Sand Drill, with the idea to raise your core values with these products. First one being Torquets, which is the ultimate environmentally safe water soluble diamond drilling lubricant for reducing in hole torque, rod wear, preventing rust, and extending bit and tool life. We mix Torquets with everything. In the beaker here, you'll see some of the torqueless product, and we have a piece of rusted steel sitting in, in this beaker. And over the weekend, we videotaped this in very slow motion, where you can see the torqueless actually climbing up this piece of drill steel, and this is showing the polarity of the product. It, it climbs up and it sticks to the, to the drill steel, and it'll remove any rust or any, anything that's on your drill steel. Here we're showing a job in Salt Lake with the salt content about being about 8 to 12 percent. And you can see the, the, once the torqueless was added and we're drilling down the hole, you see this drill pipe that comes out nice and shiny and clean, where from the previous hole, here's a pipe that hadn't been in there and hasn't been in contact with torqueless and the rust is still on there. So you can imagine that just even the, the drag and the torque that's that caused by, the, by just the rust alone, let alone the drag of any pipe lying on a hole, if it was a horizontal or what have you. So once, even if this drill pipe was to be put in the hole and torqueless was uh, in, come in contact with this pipe, the torqueless would remove the rust and it'll keep it shiny and protect it with the uh, film strength, strength in excess of 100,000 PSI. But also one uh, interesting point to note on this was the wireline itself on the spool, how rusty it was previous to the introduction of torqueless. It was as rusty and as red as this drill, or as this uh, piece of steel here in the whole spool. And uh, the cables, you know, with the rust being on there, the cables would, would bind a little bit and catch and rust would be flying all over the place. But now with, it's coated with torqueless as well, you can see how nice and shiny it is. So the cable's going to last you a lot longer and it's not going to be jamming up, etc. So it's just another uh, interesting point for, for that Torqueless has done. You'll know, you'll notice when you have a, a proper mixture of Torqueless in any of your drilling fluid systems, whatever you're, whatever you're using, because again, the Torqueless will coat the drill, the drill steel or the inside of the tank and protect it and not allow anything else to stick to it. Where you can see here, there's no Torqueless being used in this situation here, and you can see how the, the polymers and the drilling fluids is all sticking to the tank which creates a, a, a real mess. It's time consuming to try and clean it and wash it off, but also must be noted, you know, the, uh, the waste of the product itself. Here we're showing, this is Torqueless up here, just one drop. The fish are swimming in it because it's water mixed with, with a little bit of Torqueless. But just to show how environmentally safe it is, this was a, a couple of years ago, the fish really uh, enjoy this product. And now a couple of years later, Here's some torqueless that was just dropped on the top, not mixed yet, and the fish are still enjoying it. And you can see the size of them. The fish are, the fish are good and healthy. And uh, as we say, we add torqueless to everything. <laughs> not necessarily fish tanks all the time. This is just for demonstration purposes. Second product, again, being sand drill. This is a drilling additive for re reducing the difficulties of drilling in wet and shifting sands, gravels, cobbles, while achieving maximum potential core recovery in these in these conditions. We have achieved 100% core recovery in all of these conditions, in also including overburden with the sand drill product. The sand drill is a dry blended polymer and any dries, any dry blended polymer that, you, that you're using should always be introduced to a lubricant first. We, inter we, we mix everything again with our torqueless product. This being torqueless, we will use our torqueless two to one ratio to any dry product that we're using. This is the sand drill that's being introduced into the torqueless just to show you how quickly that it mixes up. Uh, a suggested dosage for any of your applications might be uh, one to three liters of sand drill per 1,000 liters of water, depending on your water condition and your drilling conditions. Then just double the amount of torqueless. So it's two to one torqueless to sand drill. So once you have a pre-mix and you go to mix it, or this is just a drill with a, a paint mixer for demonstration purposes only to show you, here's the vortex that's being created by your mixer. 
you can go ahead and you can introduce this uh, premixed mixture anywhere into the vortex as, as quickly as you like and you will see the viscosity in the chains that, that's being built very very quickly this is just within a couple of minutes and again this is just for demonstration purposes only so when we when say you must premix the product when you look at this this video here up top you can see we're just introducing sand drill alone with no we're not being premixed and down here we've got it premixed so unfortunately when you're drilling when you're introducing it not being premixed you can see the clumps that's being created from the polymer and when each individual grain of polymer tries to unravel it basically is creating a dumpling up here and it's not being mixed up and it's even worse if you have a little bit of polymer left over in in your tank from your previous mix which will always happen except for the first tank um, we're able to see this from a side view because we have we do this in our classroom for demonstration purposes uh, with glass tanks so we can see in the sides then you can see when it's with the premix how it's being dropped right in there and you can dump, dump it in there as quickly as you want to and it will disperse quite nicely so because each individual grain of polymer is actually encapsulated in the lubricant the torqueless product itself which allows it to move around the tank and open up nice and to a nice long string and nice long strands so after about uh, let's say six minutes maybe eight minutes uh, this is what your mixture will look like so when we add dye in here again I'm speaking of the strings and the strengths of the this product that that uh, comes out when you start to mix it you can see how it's nicely on all unraveled a nice and smooth mixture however the dye gives a very good demonstration as to the strength of these chains and the chains that are being developed in there so this product the sand drill once it's mixed with the the torqueless when introduced to the water uh, 10 to 12 to 14 minutes depending on on the pH of the water and your mixing system as to how long you should mix it for before it's ready to go down the hole to do a good job and wrap your wrap your core so I like to I always like to go to this cotton candy because as uh, we were all kids one day and we probably all had a, an opportunity to have some of this cotton candy what I want to want you to understand here is these strings that I speak of are something like these webs that's created with this cotton candy we all know how sticky this is and how it wraps up to everything because it's wrapping onto onto this stick that he's that he's wrapping it on here if you can picture this cotton candy wrapping up your core if we could if we could introduce a a good lubricant to this cotton candy we, we would still get the wrapping effect and we would and, and we'd get the lubricity on top of it so it wouldn't stick to you that's what we're talking about when we talk about uh, sand drill and torqueless and that's that's what we're looking for this is a fantastic animation as you can see we're spinning out the webs so there's your cotton candy effect and as we are going into as we're introducing the product the blue is just to strictly demonstrate how the sand drill will penetrate into the formation dependent on the porosity of the formation so if these were boulders and sands etc if you're drilling this down with water the sands would come out the boulders would fall in the hole however with the introduction of sand drill we're lucky enough to be able to stabilize this whole formation so it will penetrate the formation a little bit to kind of tie it up cement it together if you will even to the point where it maintains this, these stones and keeps them in, in place to where when you're coming down with that bit that bit will actually shear that stone cut that stone right off and when you pull out of the hole you have a nice nice solid hole there but just like looking in the inside of a gun barrel so the blue is demonstrating the torqueless or the uh, the sand drill and the the green demonstrates the torqueless so the torqueless is coming in there and it's coating all of your drill steel uh, point of note is that it, it's also coating your drill bit and not allowing anything to stick to your drill bit however on the inside as it's coming down it's coating everything all, all the way down on the inside such as your tube and it allows the core to nicely slide up inside the tube <coughs> that has been already wrapped in the sand drill itself so as we're as we're drilling we're you know we're introducing the product we're cre creating this mesh that I like to, to call and then there's any voids that that might be in here the cuttings will pack in there with this mesh and make a nice solid hole just like the inside of a gun barrel 
this is a this picture demonstrates very well you know the porosity of some of the of some of the uh, the boreholes and the core itself so you can see here how it has penetrated the product and the moisture has penetrated into the core but only so far and it's wrapped everything up and then with the again with the with the torqueless being on the outside it allows it to slide in and out of the barrel quite nicely so it can take up it can take any formation um, right here this is a core just a small piece of core from the from wet sands you can see the sand is has is very wet and it was wet before we entered entered this hole but and this is uh, also an indication of the moisture so the sand drill had get in there and just it basically looks like a, a tube of the inside out of a rubber tire it's it's wrapped this up and then again when you have the torqueless on here it allows it to keep it encapsulated keep it wrapped up and slide in and out of that tube as we'll see in, in this in in this video here this is pure sand and watch the pliability you can see how the how it's got the sand wrapped and it's even allowing it to bend a little bit as it's coming out of the tubes. So that's a very good example uh, and we're re achieving 100% core recovery in this on this job in pure sands. This job here is a job in Turkey and I love this one here because it really shows you can see the torqueless on the outside of the core and the core is breaking apart there but but the how fragile this core is and this this formation is it's, it's a fantastic demonstration uh, as to what this product will do. I believe they were getting about 15 to 20 percent uh, core recovery on this on this project before we come along with with torqueless. Uh, this is a couple of shots from a, a job we had did up in northern British Columbia in Canada. Uh, you can see where the markers are. If you can see that quite clearly, there's a marker here, there's a marker here, there's one here, there's one here, uh, here these are drilling with a 10-foot uh, core tube which we would like to see this being full it should look more like this over here you can see the marker here and the marker here the next one's over here and over here so we're showing we're getting full core recovery here this is obviously the before and the after the very next hole after but you can see any of the filler that was in the hole with the sands and gravels and cobbles etc had been washed away because we hadn't had a product in there with the ability to, to wrap it up to penetrate it in there in the borehole wall and stabilize it and hold it there where we definitely did in the very next hole we end up with 100 percent core recovery and a, a very happy client at, at the end of it now i'm going to touch on bentonite here a little bit because uh, uh, bentonite is one of the first drilling fluids that w that uh, was ever out there years and years and years ago. It's a great product for giving us a, a very good viscosity. However, there's no strength in bentonite. There, it doesn't give us the chains and the, the ability to wrap up the core like I like to speak to. And it takes uh, quite a while to mix. Again, this is in our in our school in Calgary where we're showing uh, how long it takes to mix. We get the opportunity to get a, a good side uh, visual on how the bentonite mixes. So probably 30 to 60 minutes to, to uh, mix up a good a bentonite. No matter what mixer you have, you can turn this up as, as much as you want, but it's going to, it needs to absorb the water and it takes a long time to mix it. Uh, bentonite definitely has its place, uh, et cetera, but we, we work with polymers and, and lubricants here. Uh, this demonstration will show us when I speak of chains and strengths and whatnot, there's a very good viscosity that the bentonite has made. It's, and you can see how it's sticking to the to the wall. And this is this is actually glass that it's sticking to. So it sticks to the inside of your tanks, and uh, it sticks to everything that it touches. Actually, um, but we introduced we introduced the the dye there to show that yes, it has a very a fantastic viscosity, but it doesn't have the chains that I speak of that likes to wrap it up. And that's a very good demonstration to to show to prove this out to show it. In this one here, when we, when we speak of bentonite, I think of freight versus cost. And when we look at, I'll just stop that here for one second. When we look at one bag being 50 pounds of uh, drilling mud and say 63 bags per pallet, all of a sudden we're up to 3,000 plus pounds per pallet or a truckload would be near 70,000 pounds. So there's, you can imagine the freight costs that that's uh, equated in in a truckload of bentonite just to get it to your job site. So 
we say, okay, well, one pail of polymer, if it weighs 40 pounds, and there's 48 pails on a pallet that's packed here at the factory, you're up to about 2,000 pounds. Well, there's quite a, quite a difference in, in the weight there, but where we're going with this is that I say, okay, one 20 liter pail equals 40 pounds, equals the same viscosity. We can get the same viscosity out of one pail as we can out of a, putting in a pallet of uh, a drilling mud, like a bentonite of, or, or drilling mud of that, of that uh, type. So in other words, half a liter of dry will equal one bag of dry mud. Speaking viscosity only, still we have no strengths. We have nothing to, to wrap it up, etc. We, we can definitely, with, uh, with any bentonite uh, or dry bag mud, we can get a fantastic viscosity. We can make it as thick as we want. We can pretty near walk across it. So if we're putting it down the hole for the, for the stabilization to, to keep the hole open or whatever, yes, it works fantastic. Uh, however, for core drilling, it's not going to get you the core like we can when we're wrapping it with a, with a polymer. So that's, that's where we're going here. Then when it comes into uh, some a little more sensitive areas, some hard area, harder areas to get into, you can see here's a ledge right here just in front of the donkey. Um, it depends on what you're using for freight systems or where you're going, whether you're using a helicopter into remote areas or, or uh, this freight company here. Uh, right here, basically, this donkey's carrying a pallet of bentonite on its back, viscosity and weight-wise speaking only. And then we get to be able to wrap up your car. Versus how many times, how many trips would that donkey have to make up and down that mountain to get you enough uh, of the bentonite product up there to, to work with. So um, that's a little bit about our sand drill and our torqueless product. If you can go to our website at any time at www.matex.ccc or dash ccc.com and get a little more information on our other products. We have 955, uh, 2000 and various other products on there with videos and animations, etc. Thank you for watching.